see Marty Fake Newsman's ugly smart. I'm gonna bounce it off the canvas and I'm gonna kick it. Boring, man. People would rather rather watch flies fuck than watch you fight. I am Tyro Woodley's father. I'm his legal guardian. I'm still mad that last Father's Day he didn't give me a shout out because I am Jorge Masvidal's daddy. Let's talk about Marty's hair. He's got 30% of his hairline left. Isn't that disgusting? Brazil, you're a dog. All you filthy animals suck. <laughs> Greetings, nerds and virgins. America's champ is back. Live your life the way you want, but I think you should uh, show this side of you more, the, the, the real humble, like, you know? I know a lot of people see that. Same guy I knew 10 years ago and the same guy I knew 10 years before that. Hard working, driven, had his family. His dad was right there standing with him. Said his mom and his sister, whole family came out. Regular guy. He's an entertainer. He's in the entertainment business. I give up. I give it up to that guy for a lot of reasons. First of all, he was his back was against the wall. The, the UFC was telling him they're going to cut him after this fight with Damian Maya. They don't like his style. They think he's boring. They literally told that to him. Yeah. There's no negotiation period. You're just going to take what we give you because we don't like you. You're not a character. We, no, none of the fans care about your fighting style. No one cares about your personality. So I knew I had to make a change. I had to do something that was going to get the fans involved, get, make it a circus, you know, because this is the circus business. You know? Man, we haven't had a guy that put on a character like that before. He's the first. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he Chael is. Chael Sonnen a little bit. Yeah. Chael Sonnen a little bit. You know, he kind of put on a little bit of an act like that, but Colby took it to a whole new <laughs> level. And the thing is about his style, this thing that he's doing, not his style, but his uh, promotion style, with the cheap suits and the fucking book, you think it's a joke. Yeah. But then you watch his fights. If you didn't have any information about him and his character, and you just watch his fights, you'd be like, fuck, man, this guy's driven. This guy's fucking driven. I mean, just everything they've done is just, you know, I've, I've, I've went out on my own accord to, you know, promote their brand, you know, went to the troops, you know, went to the first fighter in the history of the sport to ever go to the White House and sit with, hang out with the sitting president in the Oval Office, and, and this is how they treat me, so, you know, they... they Never told this story before, but three fights ago, before I fought the number two guy in the world, this guy named Damian Maya in Brazil, they had told my manager, Dan Lambert, that they, were, they weren't going to re-sign me. They didn't like my style. They didn't like that I wasn't entertaining. And this is before I really started to become an entertainer and understand the entertainment aspect of this business. So before this fight, they told me no matter what happens, I was ranked number six in the world. We're, we're not re-signing you. We don't like your character. We don't like your fighting style. You know, and, and I'm getting paid $30,000 to go fight the number two guy in the world. Like, after you pay taxes and pay your coaches, you're really going to get like five or $10,000. Trust me, I will get the last laugh. 